Hey Realm Walkers! Some of you have been wanting to make better buildings, probably because they look a little bit like this, when actually you want something like this. Or this. Figure this guide ought to help you. Now let's get into it, starting with the absolute basics. This is a standard square foundation. All of them are pretty much the same dimensions. 4 meters cubed. We can see that while in blueprint form, they're marked off in meters, half meters, and quarter meters. When we connect two foundations together, you'll notice that they intersect roughly a quarter meters into each other. Let's also take note of the angle of rotation, which goes in 1 8 increments, or 22.5 degrees, making every two increments a 45 degree turn. We can also change the height, though the increments are way smaller. Each adjustment is 1 80th of the total length, or more specifically, every meter is 20 increments tall. Keep in mind that the top foundation is already 10 increments high, which means we only need 10 more increments to get it exactly 1 meter off the ground. You can kind of see that meter line peaking right there. That said though, foundations won't always line up on these height increments if the ground is graduated. Let's look at a part of our build process, and that's with crude portals. Anytime we use them, it's probably going to be best to go into third person mode so we can see what we're doing. You can place it anywhere along you need, like halfway here. We mostly use these as markers for our foundations, kind of like where we want the corner of the new foundation to be. Line it up as best as you can. You can also increment the height to kind of give you a reference. And it's not too bad, could be better, but you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect, there's no need to stress over it. And you might be asking yourself, why would we want to do this in the first place? Well, let's get into the intermediate techniques. As of filming, Nightingale has some building limits. And if you bring up build mode, you can see how many buildings you have total. And even with these limits, we can build small towns and villages, or these gigastructures if we want. But to get either of these done, we're going to want to split up the foundations. They might think to just place three, delete the middle, and you're split, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't work. If you mouse over it, you'll still see it's two out of 300. And if you pop it, they'll both build. All right. Let's start over. Three next to each other like before, but this time we're going to put a crude portal here to mark the corner. Let's delete these two and place a new foundation. This looks pretty much like before, but when we pop, they're separate. And this allows us to make things like an octagon. To make it, we put a square foundation right at our feet. You're noting kind of where the very center is. Let's put it in this little pebble here. Then build out three, delete these two. Now let's line up another foundation at our feet. This time we rotate it by 45 degrees, and we try and put that center right in the same spot. So let's build outwards, and then build back inwards. This is all right. It could be better, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's not stress about it. Let's extend outwards three tiles in every direction. That's enough to let the corners meet, but it's gonna be a bit janky. Walls and columns are going to go a long way in hiding our crimes, so don't worry about it too much. You could keep going in distance, but there are only a few places where the corners will meet again. 3 at first, then 5, 8, 10, and 13. And like I said, every corner is going to be a little bit janky. Doesn't matter how far out you go. Alright, let's pop this octagon. There we have it, an octagon. And it's made with two buildings. Looks pretty cool, right? You can fill in those gaps however you like, with whatever orientation you want. Let's dig into the advanced techniques. Remember when I said that the foundations rotate 8 times? This means we can build a hexadecagon, or a 16-sided building. To make it, we gotta use the same technique as the octagon, except twice as many problems. Let's start with our first, keeping note of the center, right on this little pebble. Extend out. Delete these two. Now we bring another one back in. We rotate it once, right in the pebble. Extend out. Delete. Now we do this two more times. Rotate, pebble, extend. All right, let's bring it all in. Let's look at that center there. That's not too bad. Could be worse. Well, you can see each one is a little bit off from each other, but that's cool. And then we can extrude all sides from the center. There we go, a hexadecagon, made of four different buildings. Remember, there will always be jank. Now the last technique I'm going to show is how to make an eight-pointed building that's two foundations wide instead of just one. First we put down four foundations in a row. 
we delete the third, which leaves our last one as our reference point. Now in third person mode, take your crude portal, rotate it 45 degrees, and point one corner in the middle of these two foundations, specifically right where their surfaces meet. We want to make this point the very center. You know, we're good here, so let's delete these two. Let's do our best to line up this foundation beneath the crude portal. We're going to use the marker lines as best we can. You can increase the height of the foundation to see what you're doing, and much lower it before you set it. Alright, this looks alright. Let's uh, put in more foundations. And actually, we can just we can delete this portal now. Let's uh, let's rebuild the foundations from our reference. All right, let's look at our center. It's not bad. Let's pop it. Oh, this definitely's got flaws. You can see the height's just a little bit off. But you know what? It's all right. If it looks good, then it's good. You know, complex and crazy builds are awesome, but you can make impressive builds with smaller footprints using techniques from this guide. Here's a quick and dirty example. Let's put down this L-shaped foundation over here, say about 20 increments up. We can imagine that this is the front to your home, and we can put Tudor steps here, sure. They look okay, they're a bit janky, but we can do better. So let's go to the back side here. What we're gonna do is do something similar to the octagon. We're gonna align the corner to the edge, and let's bring it up 10. Let's extend out, and then to the sides. Okay, this looks pretty decent, but we aren't done yet. Let's go out this way and build two out. We want to mark this corner here. Delete these two. Alright, let's place down another foundation, but at the very lowest. Let's extend out and make a courtyard. Alright, let's delete these guides. And let's pop. That looks pretty good, I've got to say. Let's add some walls so we can see it functionally. It looks really nice. All we gotta do is, you know, add some plants or some lights, maybe a table, chairs, more decor. It would look really, really cool. Now that you've watched this guide, hopefully your builds are gonna be a lot better. Don't forget to share your builds with the community out in the Discord, or in the subreddit, or at work, you know, wherever. Thanks for watching, sub for more, and peace.